Yawn. And we are recording again. Yay! I just missed your yawn, epic yawn. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's probably so, for the best. I understand that the plan today is to crack on with chapter five. Mm hmm. Read the stuff that I've been swamped in this whole week and the week before, and finally push through some of it. And there's a tail end to, to still deal with. So, uh, where do you want to start? Um, would you like me to start at the bit you've just done about the private contract shown into your facial displays? Oh yeah, because I just finished that yesterday, so mm. I haven't... That hasn't been read aloud. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> the private contract shone into Jules' face from all displays. She'd settled the organised text view onto one side screen, with points of interest highlighted, and tinkered with a nodal view on the central display. Names, places, timestamps, all the details accumulating, linking up, clearing a window into the times before she was born. Judging by the files, her brother was nothing like her. Quiet and courteous, not the kind to get into easy trouble. His main vice, the passion for biotech and aquatic ecology. Fortune's talents must have matched his passion because Jewel noticed a detailed memo proposing the Harper House aquaponics debut, with him responsible for the experimental labs. The branch was set to open once Fortune was old enough for official partnership. All that anticipation, Jewel winced at the next chronological entry. The party arrest materials looked fragmented, patched together from intercepted enforcement reports, coupled with the city code outtakes refuting the charges. Jewel rubbed her temples, trying to make sense of Fortune's post-capture whereabouts. The transfer trail ended at the processing centre it started at. Other coordinates were listed under fake, all except his latest confirmed location, the prison station she was headed to. The realisation came to her after, a blank, after half a blank stare, she couldn't follow the transfer history because there wasn't any. They'd been keeping her brother hidden in that place from the start. Goosebumps crept up her neck. Could such things happen to regular people? During her missions, she'd never thought of her captives, captives as victims. Of course, as long as she worked with Seekers, she'd never have to worry about such things, would she? Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> I think the dash that you've put in there is, uh, is appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what was the other thing? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me think. Uh, passion, uh, city, city codex. I, th I think yeah. I changed it already. Compared to the version that I put on Skype yesterday. So basically what I tried to say here is that uh, there were some information from the agency that they arrested Fortune and the people who had put together the folder had, you know, put the arrest info and the city sort of council guideline legal info side by side so that you could see immediately that, uh, that this was some fake shit right there. I'm going to take out that double space and just be like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I so I can the the sentence makes sense, but I I can't. I don't have an alternative. If the if the beta readers pick it up, or if the trusted mm -hmm. readers pick it up, then mm -hmm. we'll do something about it. But mm -hmm. I can't think of a better way to put it. So yeah, it might be a case of trying to cram too much. Uh, info into too small space. So this is also to imply that point one, the family had the info to show that uh, yeah, th these charges were were bullshit. But on the other hand, I've also tried to cram in the idea that uh, any legal basics are limited to the city. Like this mm. is not some planet-wide codex or, or, or I don't know, country we're dealing with. That uh, this is uh, the the city law. Mhm. Mm Legal code. Mm. 
Maybe drop out takes. Maybe the city legal code refusing the charges. Hmm. Oh. With the snippets. Coupled with the si the snippets from or of, coupled with the sni snippets from the city's legal code of. Okay, yeah, from, yeah. The party arrest materials looked fragmented, patched together from intercepted enforcement reports. Coupled with the snippets from the city legal code refuting the charges. Yeah. Yeah, I think refuting the charges is better than that refuted the charges. Hmm. Yeah, I, I will. I will leave it as is right now. But if somebody else points at it, then I will. I will try to make it cl clearer. Why is Google freaking out about latest? What's that all about? Uh, oh, he's lost. Yeah, yeah. For some all, reason. all except his last confirmed. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> latest is. Did you mean last? No, I did not mean last. <laughs> I meant latest. I think it maybe it wants it to be the latest, but it's his latest confirmed location. So. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I sent them feedback the other day, <laughs> so that they should be fixing all this because <laughs> I'm obviously that important, and they pay yeah, attention. Yeah, because to they my value feedback. our input. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Continue reading. Uh, you can because I think. I uh, think this little paragraph here is. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving this one the way it, it is now, and now the the question is what to add to it next. This uh, letting her brain to call. Uh, it should just be letting her brain call. I don't know why there's a two in there. I think I I was going back and forth with it. Oh okay. And, and change the sentence structure many times. I think it was allowing her brain to cool, and then I changed it to letting, and it was cooled down, and then I changed that, so yeah, residue. Yeah. Also, but, but, yeah, I, go do, on. I do not eat English. <laughs> <laughs> Jewel leaned back in the seat, letting her brain cool. She'd learned more about her family affairs during this one flight than she had growing up, and she wasn't sure what to do with all the information. The restrictions she'd endured as a kid made more sense now, even if they'd had an opposite effect. Even if they'd had the opposite effect? I don't know, that's... Yeah. Uh, okay, as right, you can okay. see, that's not a complete sentence yet. That, that would be the bit of foreshadowing. In there. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you've done well. And uh, so before, when uh, when you contacted me, then I was working on which bits to even leave in. And right now, it looks to me that, oh, okay, I've already taken out something. So it, it seems to me that the whole point about uh, Max is losing money and making it back does not belong. Okay. Because I will try to uh, in this in this paragraph I will try to give a very condensed view of mm -hmm. her thoughts and this will be more about reflecting what she learned and less about learning more. So I I'm not even sure I will be able to work in the she was half expecting more information on her mother and, and and was disappointed when it wasn't there. 
so I, I think I will be able to work it in, but working that one in requires already uh, some some extra skill. Mm. I think it's better to keep this concise because yeah. there's a lot of information to get across, and the Max is remaking his fortunes and all that. That's and now that you've said it like that, it does just sound like extra noise. Mm -hmm. And also, if you think about uh, if you think about the crew who put the folder together, probably Maxis himself. Like, why would he include it? Mm. So, there there could be a whole lot of like noise and contextual info, but uh, I, I think it's unnecessary here. And later on. Uh, some of some of the effects will be shown anyway, mm -hmm. and uh, and like this, uh, the whole yeah I think I think the whole thing is that there is no good reason to include it anymore because mm. it's it's no longer a plot point. Yeah, like I think was it was it so that uh, you had it in so that you could make the connection with Ceronius. Yeah. Oh, okay. So out. it was it was twofold. Originally, um, he he lost. Originally, Jewel, Maxis, and Servanius all had something to do with one another. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. there was that big thing, and Servanius was the way that Maxis refound his wealth. Like Maxis gave mm -hmm. him a shitload of money for X reason, potentially Jewel. Mm -hmm. um, not he's not selling his daughter it's more of a she's like a, a test subject almost mm. like weapon weapon x you know um but the other side of it was i wanted to show our chaos or certain elements of our chaos uh and you'll notice that when they lost the money they had to move house to a, a different area mm -hmm. and that allowed me to show oh this is some people living in like the smog line for example and things like that mm. but that doesn't matter anymore because a it's a nonsensical. It's the it's not the version of our our chaos that we've got right now. Mm -hmm. Your termite cities version is is much better. <laughs> termite cities, you know what I mean, <laughs> uh, is much better. And it and it, it, it mooted the point about mm -hmm. you know moving up and down levels mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. It's it's a much better story element that they've got like the Harper house, you mm -hmm. know. I prefer that over them moving up and down just to show, oh, this is this is a bit of our chaos and this is another bit of our <laughs> chaos, and, you know. So there's no need to do that. Harper House is a much more interesting location. <laughs> yeah. Besides, we we have the whole uh, transport ride, whether it's monorail, zip line, <laughs> hover, mon mono hover line <laughs> thingy that goes through the city adjacent parts and uh, and the city itself including the lower levels so so that those elements are now in mm -hmm. through another door yeah we've explored it from another sort of facet mm -hmm. so it's okay, pretty cool so... <laughs> i was i was trying to work in the the point about uh uh max is being restrictive and jewel figuring if that had to do with what what had happened to fortune and I was like, <laughs> how do i say that and mm. i had and 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 i was almost at shower when the sentence came to me and i hopped out and i typed it in <laughs> and then i noticed that i had typed the exact thing <laughs> last night <laughs> so basically <laughs> now now i know that this is th this is this is the optimal uh, optimal sentence because uh, because I had already worked it out, <laughs> so I can remove this here. But the, there needs to be a subtlety here because she needs to think one thing yeah. when, in fact, the uh, almost the exact opposite was was happening. Like he was restrictive in order to yeah. Mm -hmm. Spoilers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this this is this is the uh this is the chapter revision uh footage where all the spoilers fly free so <laughs> let it out let it all out yeah she she basically she thinks one thing and it's revealed later on that 
she hasn't really thought the whole thing through like the whole picture hasn't really she's made an assumption is what's going on here basically she has she has interpreted certain things that she went through from the standpoint of a logical person but the uh, but the conspiracy that her parents cooked up is far from <laughs> far from rational <laughs> <laughs> and going on a larger uh, larger uh, universe level story arc tangent uh, this whole affair would be like I'm, I'm going to assign right now I'm going to assign myself into the advisor court of uh, of one uh, uh, Greg uh, Greg Servo, <laughs> and uh, and assume that we are uh, we are putting we are gathering uh, the heroes for uh, for the uh, one big epic mission, and we are uh, analyzing the different uh, realities and time streams and pulling out different people from them, and. Uh, Jewel would be of interest because point one training, point two, uh, she's deeply fucked up and <laughs> uh, and wouldn't uh, wouldn't fit in the normal world anyway. Mm -hmm. And point three because this was such a convoluted. This is basically this is a very very convoluted uh, scheme if you think about it. And, oh yes. And as as Raptor handily lampshades. Even if everything, uh, even if it worked, there were a million things to go wrong. And now, if we apply our uh, in-universe uh, multiverse theory or, or multiple realities theory, then uh, I think we have we have already speculated that in many, 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 many realities, it did everything did go wrong. And, yep. uh And the. Uh, uh, the sort of the scenario where Jewel survives it all is rather rare. Mm -hmm. Or like there's there's a greater density of realities where Jewel does not survive this whole uh, kerfuffle, <laughs> and and uh, this this also makes her one of those you know one of those anomalous uh, anomalous characters to pick out from uh, from uh, from a an from an anomalous time stream. Yes, Tan tangent complete. Well, the, the, uh, the other element of that is the uh, the multi-reality thing. Like, if this is sort of like the well, <laughs> is is this the optimum or the bare minimum? I suppose is the wrong question to ask. It it's just the 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 necessary things have happened in order to, for her to exist. But in some other realities, she ends up working with race. And stuff like that mm -hmm. happens. So yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. interesting to cover that stuff as well, I think. So looking at all the alternatives. Yeah, that's like that's a whole whole next level of opportunities when we start coming up with uh, with the if the story went another way. Like mm -hmm. Oh you, oh you remember this story? <laughs> oh the, by the way, here's here's how it went in a different place. Uh, of course, uh, once once we start writing those things out, uh, we need to like on one hand it it will certainly work as an exercise for ourselves for honing our skills and whatever. On the other hand, uh, let's not overdo it because if if those stories are meant to be seen by other people, uh, then many many sci-fi TV shows get to that point eventually mm. like Stargate did it a lot it's like uh, you have your established shit and then you jump into a uh, into a uh, alternate reality where shit is different and then uh, and then uh, then the, then this drama uh, <laughs> Fringe did it except they they pulled. They really pulled the rug from from the viewer. They they went into an alternate reality and or like they switched. 
they switched uh, and merged uh, two uh, two realities or two storylines, and they stuck with it. <laughs> it was very tra- traumatic as a viewer. <laughs> so so they they kind of they 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 did a sort of uh, interesting thing with it, but yeah, basically my point is, when we start uh, writing those stories, then it's also important to ask why. Yeah. So those stories, I I think that those stories would be better if they serve the sort of bigger, uh, bigger multi arc. Yeah. It's like it's like uh, it's like the forum post of Deja Vu for different characters. Mm. The um, the the one thing I know is that I would very much like to explore the reality where Luna and Rogue got separated mm. and they, they stayed alive. I know I want to explore that, mm-hmm. but this is one of those cases where I know right now, definitely not skilled enough. 100% <laughs> zero skill on this one. But, um, yeah. It, and I there's a notepad somewhere that says... Um, potentially the system or the the reality that we end up in to to show this story is also the same reality where Jewel and Wraith ended mm. up getting together and things like that. So th- I don't know why that's in the notepad because they seem to strike me as 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 different realities. The more I think about it, yeah, they don't uh, seem they don't need to be related. And I no. think uh, this is uh, I am preemptively putting a sort of strategic idea in place is that when we do explore the alternate uh, outcomes for different characters let's let's do it character by character basis mm. uh, let's not try to sort of merge different characters into the same uh, uh, into the same reality because that immediately establishes expectations that oh there's some shit going on in that reality when in fact all these alternate takes are relevant in uh, in terms or in, in context of the multiverse arc. Mm. So they they are they are relevant because somebody is basically auditioning or or, or casting these uh, these characters into a bigger team or or whatever, and they are so it's like. I would almost say that some of these stories need an observer. Uh, so, so there could be. So it's like the story unfolds, or or, or maybe multiple. This is very very tangent, much <laughs> future. <laughs> uh, so it could be that uh, you have you have a short story collection of these alternate stories. And at first, they are all like, "What if this happened instead? What if this happened instead?" And you have all these "what if" stories about different characters. Mm-hmm. And then, in the end, you find out that all these stories uh, are framed together by the uh, Murphy Station personnel who has been literally monitoring these uh, these characters in their realities and and deciding whether is is that the one we need or like okay let's bring let's bring this one in or uh, no this one this one won't won't work for us etc hmm? hmm? hey dude <laughs> 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 My my problem tends to be, or it used to be at least, and I know why I wrote down the whole Luna and Rogue separated should be part of the dual Wraith universe, because I, I've got it in my head that everything needs to be connected, mm-hmm. and then when I reveal that connection, it's going to be amazing, but <laughs> that's not true, yeah. This, uh, for example, Seeker is better because it doesn't have any connection to Servanius mm-hmm. right now. Like mm-hmm. I can focus on that element in other mm-hmm. stories, whereas this one, it's got its own strengths. It stands alone. You know, it's mm-hmm. got its own bad guys and its own yeah. 
protagonists and things like yeah. that. It, it is, it it is a it is a very fucked up family history, basically. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and if she wants to join the party later on, then shit, man. There's a seat at the table, but she doesn't need to feel obliged. Mm -hmm. Although I must say, when Nux and Sage encounter Jewel on that on that station. That was awesome, having those characters interact. But this did open a question like, why the fuck does Nux know about Seekers? Like, when is he ever going to have come across a Seeker to the point where he knows that Jewel could kill Sage before he even pulls the trigger? And also, that has to sort of take place in a alternate dimension reality because the way that we've... Hmm. It's not, not it, she doesn't stick around with the seekers at the end mm. of this book. So if she's still wandering around wearing her jacket, which is very unlikely, uh, or if she's still wearing enough identification markings for Nux to be able to tell she's a seeker, it doesn't make any sense because Nux has never encountered seekers before. Yeah, it's it's easier to so point one, we don't need to uh we don't need to fit the forum stories into any canon. Mm -hmm. Forum is a wild uh, frontier of its own. Let mm -hmm. it flow. And and point two, when you when you do start putting together an in canon story based on forum story, then it's easier to leave that reference out. Mm -hmm. It's it's oh, like yes. it's like the uh, water problem in in Seeker itself, like. We we worked very hard to make it work, and in the end, it was just why not? Why just not leave it out? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's an excellent comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you st you tell a better story by not you know you've still got to tell the story, but don't try and fucking cram shitloads of details in there. Pay and, attention, you know, this is very important detail. There may, yeah. there will be a test later. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, th yeah, I can understand. First draft, put it all in there. Mm -hmm. Second draft, mm -hmm. sort of restrict a little bit. And then, you, you, ah, okay, well, it's a, it's sort of like a two-fold process. You've got to recognise when that stuff isn't working anymore. Mm -hmm. You've got to recognise when it's not working and when it's worth cutting it. Mm -hmm. And I think this is this also... It's very much a, another one of those author skills that Tali was talking about. Like, you've got to know when. <laughs> that mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. is the key. You've got to know when. And mm -hmm. I think cutting the water thing has made this story. It's focused it. That's the that's the other thing. You mm -hmm. take the guard, you take the noise out, mm -hmm. and it focuses the other stuff into a better sound. You know. So that's my metaphor for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you cut out the uh, the redundant channels so that the one that you really need to pay attention to gets gets more screen time. Ah, see, this is why I don't <laughs> do metaphors and you do. <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, speaking of process, uh, I think like certain things took longer. Uh, at certain stage because I was trying to clean up what was there and not uh, not even think in structural terms like okay at that point I wasn't as involved in uh, in this book uh, as I am now and I didn't have I didn't have the credentials <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and back then I think uh, uh I wasn't the bar wasn't as high like I w I was uh, I had a certain idea about uh, what your skill level is and I wasn't trying to make it better than that I was just sort sort of trying to clean clean things up and make them work within what was there and of course now that we're looking back at the text those things don't work anymore because the rest of the stuff has gotten so much better than uh, than they immediately stick out. So it's like, in theory, it's very very uh, cool talk to talk about 
uh, cramming everything into the first draft and then cleaning shit up in the second draft and then doing the copy edit uh, next and and then doing the line edit and and and, and fine tuning and all but it's much messier mm. like some sometimes sometimes the only way to tell that some something doesn't belong is if you if you clean it up and you comb it up and you and you realize that no you don't have you don't just have a uh, a red headed middle child no that's a mutant <laughs> 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 when you when you were doing the list, like yeah, you do the first draft and then the second draft and then you do the you know, I was like, what is this magical order of which you speak? It never goes this simply. <laughs> you know? like, yeah, it's very messy process. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And that, and that is why she takes time, even though uh, I think. Um, Speaking of this year, I think I can honestly say that uh, I am putting full-time, full-time text work in almost every day, and and even then the distilled material is like tiny. Mm. But it's like super refined. That's the thing. When it when it comes out the other end, it's like triple distilled vodka, motherfucker! It's like bam. <laughs> triple distilled, uh, triple distilled sci-fi moonshine, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I want a glass. <laughs> you didn't even drink. <laughs> I know, but I want a glass. It sounds badass. When we uh, when we expand into da 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 da, then there shall be. A product to be sent out to affiliates and um, and uh, collaborators, etc. <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> the disasters we will wrought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Where where we work wise? Right. Okay. So this is the point where basically I I, I need to do this alone <laughs> because because I I'm, got this. <laughs> yeah. Well. I uh, I wouldn't say I've got this, but I know I know where this is going. This is something the captain has to do alone. No, it no, isn't. No, it ain't. <laughs> 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 so yeah. Uh, so be- before we started uh, today's discussion, I was in the process of uh, process of cutting out the shit that I don't, I don't want to leave in. And uh, and reordering the shit that I that I would want to work in to the end of this chapter. So first off, Jewel has taken in all the she she has she has done she has done some intense studying. She has done all the thorough analysis and sort of focused study of everything that was that was presented to her. And uh, and now this this is a little bit like cool off time, like the mm-hmm. the previous paragraph, where where she's learning about uh, great expectations to fortune, and then uh, and then the whole whole shit coming tumbling down, and then uh, all this leading to her little seed of doubt about seekers themselves. All this is th- that's the meat. Mm-hmm. And uh, this means that everything that comes now has to be a little bit more subdued. Or this is like this is where she's simmering down a little bit. Uh, so this is where she could sort of ask questions and sort of like you know reflect. Mm-hmm. So so point one, I worked in the uh, ba- basically half of the day. I was I was I was working on the segue, how to 
how to get from the from the meat to do this part. And now it's about what uh, what to even leave in. So I would leave in that uh, that she thinks of the restrictions on her, or like why why Max is treated her the way he did. Mm hmm. So she will she will assume that that's because he was trying to protect her. God then. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> and then I will try to work in the part about uh, why wasn't there more info on her mother? Or more like noticing that uh, that it was it was absent just like her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this one was a little bit too on the nose. So vague and indir indirect is uh, is what I would go for if I leave it in. Mm. And then And is it is it the lack of information that stands out to her? Or what meagre information there is there? That uh It's 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 more I don't know about what I'm it's, ask it's here. more about uh, it's more about uh, her expecting to be some and not finding it. Okay. So they're vague and indirect. So it's not absent, but it's it's sort of out of focus or or, or sort of, you know, obfuscated. The yeah. word you used yesterday. <laughs> obfuscated, yeah. Uh, so the speculations on who done it and why. I'm not sure. I I want to leave it in even. Like this was the main question, like uh, her uh, Joel speculating on who had done this, but I think I think that that, that this question has already been sort of in here, or like uh, the question is already implied in the in the meaty part, like somebody had taken him. Uh, it's clear that uh, that he was taken by some some enforcement agency and he'd been hidden away and she sort of puts it together that that's that's basically what she's doing to other people all the time and uh, yeah I, f I think that uh, that the whole easy target, especially for a rival corporation or entity who wanted to hurt her father and his business ventures, I'm not sure I, I want to leave it in anymore. That sentence you've just read, or this bit down here? Okay, yeah, get rid of this, because the, yeah. the bit you've just read, liquid smooth. This one. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's the part that I'm now considering leaving out altogether. I mean, uh, I, I I'm considering leaving out this uh, this question. I mean, the, uh, the 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 part that I took out was uh, you know notes. So this is this this is not going to stay in anyway. Hmm. So I'm not gonna delete it just yet, but uh, but I will. It's possible that it's not gonna make it in, and also, so basically, almost all the uh, all the big questions about the info are right now under under question. Mm. So at the moment, uh, at the moment, I'm no longer certain which will make it in. So we have we have the point about. Uh, she notices how little information is there on her mother. Uh, she might speculate on uh, on why Fortune was kidnapped, and she might question why the family hired her now. And I'm thinking that out of these uh, three points. Maybe only one or two will remain in. Maybe, maybe I, I, I might she be. I might, 
I might she be able doesn't to blend care them. about the who. Sorry, go on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I might be able to blend them in, but yeah, uh, do, do do carry on. She, I was thinking, would she? I was thinking, surely she'd want to know who is behind all this. But it it doesn't matter. She's got her side of the job mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter to her. So yeah. That that was just like, my input there. Yeah, yeah. Like, if if she considers, or if uh, if this is a question for her, then it's only a question for her in relation to herself. Mm. Like, uh, surely she wouldn't be as easy target, or 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 sort of mm, blend it together with the. Uh, the restrictions on her and, uh, and somebody out there to hurt him kind of mm. deal and uh, and same thing about the why now so the I would I would say that the why now is actually more relevant question because that that directly involves her like yeah even like family, family, but uh, but this is uh, this is her job. We're to, we're talking about. She's doing her job. She's thinking about the assignment, and uh, and uh, as part of the assignment, she would think like, okay, so if they had the info about my target, then why was I tasked to do this now? Mm. So the the why me why now uh, is actually more relevant than who. and it f and it follows the chapter's sort of introversion mm -hmm. like she's looking inside mm -hmm. <laughs> introspection that's the one <laughs> what's introversion oh being oh yeah obviously the easy so the easy target is only relevant uh, as a as a sort of reflection on herself mm. target target <laughs> <laughs> leave it <laughs> oh i will <laughs> <laughs> Could even uh, lead to the point that uh, uh, that uh, all the all the restrictions wouldn't uh, wouldn't hold her or like not no mm, no protective measures would be enough because there would all there would always be some rival entity who wanted to hurt somebody else. And uh, and she was just fine running the streets. So it's like <laughs> the oh how naive they were. I was I was doing all right on my own. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is actually more interesting than than the easy target part. So it's also by stating this, we will establish that the uh, uh, fortune's kidnapping doesn't phase her as much because those things happen in this world. It's I like it's it's more like it's more like uh, 
uh, it's more like oh so could this happen to normal people and also oh I had the so so basically I had a brother I didn't know about is a bigger deal than a brother getting kidnapped because business I, I just I I had this on the tip of my tongue okay. and now I've lost it. Uh, uh, it's basically I uh, dual thinking that they that Maxis doesn't know about her. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah, yeah. Street life. It's like she's she's almost like if only he knew maybe he'd give me more freedoms but I can't tell him because then he'd put more security on him in a way but oh, no, just, no that's unnecessary if you know what I mean though right yeah 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 okay uh, Jewel thinks Maxis is naive to her city life N A I N A I yes French. It actually has the double dot I. Oh, they've both Niev. Why is that correct? Hang on. It might be a name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I just I I don't know if it's important, but I think it's something worth noting down. Mm -hmm. And I had a very succinct point to make about it, but I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> So basically this means uh, this means that I'm going to expand on the restrictions endured as a kid and uh, had the opposite effect and she could she could uh, this could expand into the reflection about uh, how locking somebody away you won't protect them and and she was doing just fine on the streets mm hmm Elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Acquiring target. <laughs> okay, and this means that this one goes. And uh, why now? Why me? Why now? I will. I will find a way to put it in. Although, yeah, I, I will, I will, I will think about it. I will sit on it a little bit. Right. Uh, now, if you scroll down a little bit, mm -hmm. I have actually worked on the end part uh, so well. So basically, the idea is that uh, that she decides to end her work session. She rests a little bit, cleans up, puts the papers away into a <laughs> locked compartment so that they <laughs> wouldn't fly around anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and and at some point, either during the rest or or later, she has received a a signal from another district beacon or or some sort of traffic s space traffic sign. Uh, that uh, that she has entered the uh, yes it's okay to start transit here zone mm. and uh, and she uh, and she decides to get into her bo port before all that happens yeah and, and so this is uh, this is where I will uh, work in the somehow a transit in progress had always made her uneasy. 
Not that she believed the ghost stories, it just felt wrong. She changed into the relaxed wear, prepared her port for a stasis countdown, and stepped in. And uh, and the next, this, so this is basically the sort of seal in and countdown and uh, and wind down thing. Uh, of course, I could just cut it here. Get rid yeah. of all the end part because there will be there will be the uh, sort of what happens when uh, when you when you activate stasis there will be that when they're together with fortune I think by cutting out the uh, you know front panel f ceiling thin vapor all that um it's the way you finish it like somehow a transit in progress and stepped in that's a nice mm -hmm. end of the curve you know mm -hmm. after after coming through the meat of the chapter and then the sort of the questions this is the nice mm -hmm. you know it just ends it nicely i think smooth yeah uh, and also liquid smooth. liquid smooth and also <laughs> another thing here is that uh uh, viewpoint. We're mostly witnessing everything from Joel's viewpoint, so we don't have to. We don't have to describe the shit that she doesn't experience. Mm -hmm. Like there, there will be some of it, but we can we can easily cut it because point one, it is no longer the focus here. The, the chapter structure has changed and also it means I have less uh, less stuff to work on mm -hmm. especially because this is basically flavor I like the idea that since we're following it from Jules perspective like her stepping into the pod would be the last thing uh, uh, well, uh, well not yet because there would be the uh, when she steps in Stasis isn't active yet like there, there would be the point where uh, there was there was this point that I'm that I marked for cutting that uh, the stasis port also fills with some sort of vapor or some mm -hmm. some sort of stasisizing agent, <laughs> 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 and uh, and and then the whole sort of uh, flash locks it in. So mm -hmm. so it it was nice imagery, uh, and also there was the point that uh, that jewel sort of felt uh, felt good in this cocoon kind kind of environment and that it reminds her of uh, the hygiene pod and it only occurs to her now that it's exactly like the hygiene pod and it feels good because nice and tidy cocoon mm -hmm. so I was kind of struggling with that and it, yeah. it would be a nice point but it is it is adornment basically mm. it doesn't really fit this chapter either now, yeah. that it, now that it's gone through the rework yeah like it was part of the old chapter. Yeah. But not anymore. So observe. Boop. Huh. <laughs> if you were to keep the whole it feels safe, it feels like a cocoon sort of thing in there, it would have to be in in like it would either have to be in contrast to the chaos that she's just gone through mm -hmm. everything within her show. Or it has to be deliberately outed as a like uh, she, she's going to her safe place sort mm -hmm. of thing. And I don't think there's really any appropriation for it. Uh, it's not appropriate to do that for either. So yeah. cutting it is best. Yeah. And uh, and this also means I will cut down on the rest of the techno bubble. And uh, and this also means that the questions. Or, or her reflection can get uh, a little bit more attention because I don't have to uh, I don't have to leave room for uh, for what's coming after which means that after I'm done with it chapter 5 should have two pages left or maybe a little bit over two pages but but I think I will be able to cut it down to two pages nice and and this time it's two pages not full of fluff like it used to, but two pages 
tightly packed meat. <laughs> later, later, later in chapter 16 there is this point where Jewel is going, going through the uh, nanobot uh, treatment fluctuations and she's like <sighs> everything is swimming and, and nausea and, and trying to stay conscious and like <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I think I, 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 I literally have it uh, have like knocking together her fists to sort of like <laughs> amping, amping herself up <laughs> I can just imagine Jewel doing a haka that's the greatest image I've ever ever seen <laughs> oh. and she's so tiny as well <laughs> In my mind, Jewel isn't like a big Maori bloke, mm -hmm. so seeing her doing something similar to a haka <laughs> would be hilarious. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's impressive to watch. Okay, um, th so this th this chapter's we've wrapped this discussion up because I need to use the facilities. Mm -hmm. And and I think uh, anything else I do with this chapter, I can do on my own because I have. I have cut down many lines, mm -hmm. and uh, and I hope that later today I will be able to put out the victorious tweet checkmate <laughs> chapter five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I will also wrap up this episode. If mm -hmm. we do some more later, those will be new episodes. Thank you very much, everybody who watched this. Bye. Bye.